Windows 10, NVIDIA. One of the issues lately is these manufacturers are being forced by Microsoft to push what's called a DCH driver. What that means in English, sort of, is it requires you to download the NVIDIA control panel separately. And that can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. And you may think, well, it's not too bad. Well, maybe for some, but let's say you wanted to upgrade your memory or your RAM or upgrade your hard drive or replace your hard drive and still maintain the same stuff that you got on your computer. You could encounter issues reactivating Windows and you may have to reinstall everything. Do you want that? No, right? You just wanna keep on going on your computer just as it were and not bothering seeing that stupid activate Windows when you know it's, it's a genuine key. There's a way to get around this. First, go to your web browser. Go to NVIDIA. One of these days I'll fix my keyboard. NVIDIA.com. Go to drivers. Go to GeForce drivers. Select your graphics card. So I have a 2080 Ti, but you may have an older card and it could be a, a 700 series, 780 Ti or a 780. Search. The latest driver is here. So what you need to do is click on the link where it shows download, right click, copy link address, go to your address bar, paste it, get rid of this dash DCH and press enter. And then you'll be asked to save your driver. So I will save it. I will overwrite my save. And as you can see here, the file is downloading. And notice it says 575 megs, which is bigger. This says 529 megs, which is smaller. But one thing to note, this is going to have the NVIDIA control panel in it. So you won't have to fart around if you ever have to deal with an issue and you have to reactivate Windows and it just doesn't work. You don't have to bang your head on the wall. You don't have to deal with that. As long as this method is still available, go with the standard driver. If you had to deal with the reactivate Windows, you could still go in your control panel and make changes for games. You don't have to deal with the nonsense of that issue. You may have to tolerate it, but at least it doesn't break your driver. From there, you can just install it and you should be good to go. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you. If you like this video, give me a like. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And until then, see you next time. Take care.